Hey guys, this is Mr. Molina and what I'm going to go over today is how to use the PDF uh, Inc. app that you can go ahead and download for free. So let's say you don't have uh, access to a document camera or your document camera, uh, you're not able to find a connection to connect it to your uh, laptop. You could also use a PDF uh, file on your laptop and work off of that one uh, using uh, screen annotations. Uh, which you can uh, use with uh, with the software. So there's uh, several, or it's an app. There are several apps out there that you can download, but the one that I uh, like working with is the PDF Inc. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. First of all, you would have to uh, open up the Microsoft uh, App Store, come down to where you see that little Windows icon, and what you're looking for is uh, the Microsoft uh, Store, which looks like a little bag right there icon of a bag you would have to go to search and then you would search uh, PDF Inc there are several apps out there like I mentioned but this is the one that I uh, work with so of course it's gonna uh, show you the app it's gonna prompt you that you can go ahead and install it uh, since I already have mine installed uh, it says launch so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and of course it's gonna bring up the one I was working on so very easy to open up once you open up your uh, PDF Inc app. All you have to do is come to the folder over here on the top left. You open. You, of course, you search for the PDF file you're going to work on. Okay, let me go ahead and work on this one. Uh, it's uh, prompting me if I want to go ahead and open it up without saving. And I'm going to go ahead and select yes. So uh, the features that this one has is that, uh, of course, you can add text. So uh, if you want to add text, you, you can add text. Let's say we want to add a, I don't want to write it in. I want to type it in. We can go ahead and add the text, 32520. And of course, once you're done, all you, uh, what you can do is drag and drop and put it wherever it is that you want. So that's one of the features that it has. Uh, another one is the pen and ink, or is it the ink and draw? Uh, you can go ahead and uh, use different colors for the pen. And you could also adjust the size of your pen uh, down here. So let's say I want to use blue so it could stand out. Let me go ahead and click on this one to get rid. And of course, using uh, your mouse, using your hand, or using the pen that's, uh, that was provided with the laptops, you can go ahead and write uh, anything that you want. Right? Um, and of course, it also gives you the option to highlight. So if we go back to the ink and draw, we have a highlighter tool right here. You click it again so you can open up the, the options. You have different colors here that we can use. And of course, you could also adjust the size uh, down here. So let's say I want to go ahead and highlight adding and subtracting. Right. So uh, it also gives you the option to erase. If you want to go ahead and erase anything, uh, you can go ahead and erase, uh, select the tool. You click on the mouse and then you drag over the what you want to erase and it go it uh, erases whatever annotation that you have there. So this is uh, another option that you can uh, use uh, instead of using the document camera. You can screen record what you're doing and then upload it as a video. Uh, so let me just give you an example of something that I would do. So let's say I'm working out number one. So uh, remember, guys, that we would have to circle the number with the sign in the front, circle the number with the sign in the front. Since uh, both of these are in the positive group, I'm going to go ahead and highlight them blue. As you can see, both of them are in the same uh, group. So I'm going to go ahead and add them up. So this is 7 plus 2, 7, 8, 9. Uh, let me go ahead and change my pen. 7, 8, 9. And of course, they are positive. So I'm going to go ahead and keep them as a positive 9. So that would be an example of how I would use it. Uh, another cool thing that I really like about this uh, app is that once you do annotations, you can uh, scroll up or down and the annotations uh, stick with the, with the document. So you don't have to be erasing anything. Uh, some other apps, you can do annotations on the screen, but if you move the document, uh, the annotations will actually stay in place and won't travel with the document. But this one um, does travel with the with the PDF file. Uh, you can save it if you want. Uh, you can actually save this one. I usually don't because I'm I'm recording the screen, so everything I'm doing is there. But if you want to save this one with the annotations, you can go ahead and save it there. 
Of course, it won't affect the PDF file that you already have there. This would save it under a different, you just save it under a different uh, file name. So I hope this helped, guys. Uh, this is another way that uh, you can uh, deliver a lesson. And this would be uh, something you can do if you don't have access to a document camera uh, or you're not able to connect the document camera to your laptop. Thank you guys for watching.